Welcome back JSN Unfiltered fans. If you haven't already, definitely hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you can see when my videos are coming out. Oh man, I want to talk about this. I, I've been on the other end of my content. I've been talking about shootings and talking about all this other stuff that's going on in the world, but I wanted to get back to sports for a minute. And I want to talk about what Shannon Sharp said about anthony davis now if you see my old videos you know how i feel about anthony davis but i wanted to play this quick clip and i want to give you my two cents on it check this out anthony davis joined the nuke squad youtube vlog and opened up about just how much basketball he's played since his last regular season game april 5th take a listen I haven't shot a basketball since on the final with April, good like maybe like April 5th. Like where you actually shot a basketball. Probably like April 5th. Hasn't shot a basketball. Shannon, are you okay with this or do you have a problem with what AD revealed? Skip, everything is not meant to be said out loud. <laughs> Just keep that to yourself. Yeah. Bro, you barely played 40 games. Mm. You played 40 games. He also said, Skip, that, you know, normally what he does is that he takes a month off. Mm. And then he'll hit six weeks of the weights, and then he'll start touching the basketball. AD, <clears throat> you stayed injured. You've had one season in which you weren't injured. Don't you think you might want to change that up? Since you've been here, this is what your numbers have done. Three-point shooting. Your first year here, you was 33%. Mm. Two years ago, you were 26%. Last year, you were 19% mm. from the three-point line. And the free throw percentage. Your first year, you were 85. That dipped to 74. Now you're 71. And you stay hurt, and you do the same thing over and over? Mm. Are you insane? Mm. Why would you continue to do the same thing over and over? I would do something like, you know what, man? I got hurt this year. Man, my numbers keep dipping. I need to change up something. He's doing the exact same thing and hoping for a different result. Mm. I'm confused. Most Prudent, practical people, especially if you're an athlete, Skip, you try to gain, you're like, you know what? I need to change something. Maybe it's what I'm eating. Maybe it's the way I'm lifting. Maybe it's my conditioning. I need to change something. Hell, a jump shot disappeared. And he says, you know what? This is what I do. Well, it kind of explains things. Bruh, you mean to tell, I can see, Skip, if he played 75 games, he went to the Western Conference Finals and they lost a tough seven-game series. Maybe, you know what, Skip, I can understand not picking the basketball up for a month. Yeah. Bruh, you barely picked the basketball up for the for basketball season. Mm -hmm. And so you, now you mean to tell me you need more time off? Mm. I give up, Skip. I just give up. Some things, that, you know, you can tell who basketball is important to. Yep. You can tell. Mm -hmm. You can tell. Yep. There's not too many people who are great, like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, Lawrence Taylor, me. See, AD, he's never been really that great, if you ask me. Now, he is a great player when he wants to play, but that's the key question, want to play. It takes a lot to be the best. And the thing is, he won a championship already. He got that out the way. I mean, he didn't really earn it, if you would ask me. That was basically the bubble championship. But a lot of people, uh, I, all my outlaws know how I feel about that. That bubble championship, AAU championship. That was the dumbest thing I ever heard. But whatever. I'm going to keep on moving. Now... It takes a lot to be the best and want to be the best, right? Now, for me, all it takes for me to have no regrets is give it my all. If I can give it my all and I didn't make it, that's fine. I can I can live with that. What I can't live with, if I'm not giving my all and I'm not getting the results that I need. This guy been constantly hurt. Every year, he had his own team in New Orleans for years. He did not achieve what he wanted to achieve there. Well, I don't know if he wanted to achieve. Does he even really care? That's the question. Does he care about this? And I feel sorry for LeBron. I 
contrary to a lot of people's belief, I don't hate LeBron. I recognize what he does. I just say he's not MJ. He tried to be MJ. That's my argument. Anytime I talk about LeBron James, that's my argument. But I will say this. LeBron works on his craft. And I want to talk about this because when you partner up with somebody, the worst thing that you can do is partner up with somebody who don't have the same drive as you. I always hated when I did school projects and we have a group of four, but two ain't working. But they wanted to get the same grade as me. That's why I love America. America. That's why I am an individualist at this point in time. Because collectivism don't work. Because nobody has the same drive as you. He's not shooting basketball. This is what he's done for years. And that's what I have a problem with when it comes to talented people. Talented people never really work on their craft because it's just easy for them. You ever see those guys in school who, who get straight A's, they don't even study, and then they kind of get bored? This is AD. He don't love basketball like that. When, anytime you look at anything, you can map out your, your failures. You know, you plan, you do, and then you review it. And then you can see if there's change, you, you need to make any changes. He never plans do or review anything in his career he just does the same thing over and over again you keep getting hurt something's going wrong with your body you don't care because you get paid you get your money up front and that's the problem because once once you get silk sheets it's hard to get up four o'clock in the morning see when you don't have anything and you striving to be the best and you're striving to be somebody the the fear and unknown you go out there and work because you're trying to feed your family. But guess what? You trying to, you already fed your family. You, you're you a millionaire. I, um, I think recently I heard that you stopped paying your mom, giving her your mom money. But he's a millionaire. He don't need basketball like that. That's just, this is wrong when, you, when people get the bag. When there is a potential for you to get the bag, that's when you work the hardest. But when you get the money, a lot of people don't want to work anymore. Why should I? I can retire right now. You have nothing to look forward to. You got your championship. You you can you want to live your life. And that's okay. But you are definitely not a top 75 player. Dwight Howard is. Dwight Howard led his team. He was the star of his team and led it to the championship, but you didn't. I feel sorry for LeBron because LeBron messed up this generation of basketball by teaming up. He teamed up first in this generation and everybody started doing it. And But here's the thing. Everybody he tried to team up with didn't have that drive like he did. You know? Like, look at Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade was dealing with injuries, but I don't think he kept his weight under control. So he was getting hurt. In his lower lower body. You get AD. And he don't care about nothing. He's not practicing. But guess what? LeBron is practicing right now. LeBron's trying to keep his, his body in shape. He's been doing that for almost 20 years. And that's what I'm saying. I It bothers me when you're working with people who don't have the same drive as you. You know, you're looking. You want to be the best. You want to win not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six championship. And these people don't have the same vision. He's like, no, just let me win one and I'm going to go, you know, mess with these women and do whatever the case may be. Because that's the problem with NBA players. They get paid off of potential. That's all I got to say about this situation. I would like to hear what you got to say. Leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video.